up, YouTube? It's your boy, Tulsa Bass Professor. I'm here today, guys. We got one thing going for us today. I have many rods and reels, guys. Many rods and reels, right? But I'm trying to reintroduce you guys. Reintroduce you guys. These, these are my two favorite ones. And these guys right here, I want them to last a lot, so I try to try to baby them. So if y'all ain't seen a lot of them, it's been a while. It's been a while. So what we're going to do is today, we're going to come out here we gonna put these guys to work. They've been well rested, chilling out. So we're gonna go a little finesse. We're gonna run a lipless, possibly a spinner. I don't know. Might wanna catch some, might not. All right, y'all, let's go. All right, guys, we made it to the water. What we're dealing with, we're dealing with a lot of the water. If you look, a lot of the water has left this place. So we're gonna, we're gonna look for a lot of patterns, bait fish wise, probably some chatter bait, probably throw a couple lipless spinner something like that because right now the main forge is going to be that water is very low so i'm not expecting to catch any huge fish because possible lack of uh oxygen except for the deep holes maybe in the middle so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and toss our lipless out and see what we can get Turtles. Ooh, what was that? Is that a big turtle or a car? Guys, this is a, give ourselves a short little break on this. Alright, guys, this is a 7.3. I'm gonna tell you why I chose this rod, the 7.3. The reason why I got the 7.3 heavy action, for one, some people would think it's a little too hard for a uh, lipless and to pull the hooks out. It will not. It will not. It's all about how you set your drag. Alright. For one, I chose this because as you can see, there's a lot of trees here. So if I brought my usual 7.6 or 7.10 or anything like that. It's a lot harder to cast that in an area like this, especially small as this. So guys, what we're doing is we're just trying to match our gear with the situation we're in. And I want it heavy so I can be able to horse some of these bigger fish out of here because we have a lot of snags in here, a lot of snags. And one thing I do understand over here, fish will run straight for that. That's the only cover here that's on the bottom of the pond. So guys, we, we, we made sure we're equipped for what we're doing today. Hopefully we can get a bite or two so I can show you how it works. Oh, 
that thing all the way to the bank. All right, guys, we're switching over to more finesse style. style. Fish seem to be a little spooked with the, the lipless. Seem to be a little more spooked with the lipless. But what we're doing is we're switching over to a worm, more of a finesse style. See if we can get in the bite because the water is real clear. I mean, you would expect this thing to be muddy, but this thing is really, really clear. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that same area where I seen the bass running at. I'm gonna throw the stick bait out there and see if we can get him a bite. Seem a little finicky today. Nice. All right, switched over to the finesse style first bass. See, guys? Come on, fish. Hold on. Hold on, bubba. Got him. See, guys? They were running for my lipless. It might have been a little too radical for this little guy. So when I tossed out the little finesse bait, which has a little more action to it, he jumped on it. He jumped right on it. But like I told you guys, these are my favorite two rods because they have a backbone on them. I use the heavy action because the backbone and the 7.3 is the perfect height for casting for me. Oh yeah, he, throw, he knocked this all the way through that worm. Right, we're gonna try to salvage this worm real quick. Oh, man. All right, guys. Re-rig up. Re-rig up. See if we can get another. Switch up a jig. Switch up a jig. Throw a top water. Sun's down. It's cooled off a whole lot. We're gonna test that top water bite out. Uh, gonna try the old trusty buzz bait. Try the old trusty buzz bait. See what happens. Right. We'll just trust the buzz bait see if we can get a get a reaction strike. We we'll throw the whopper popper, but the leaves out here get hung up in the propeller. And another thing is I can afford to lose the buzz bait because we have plenty of them. But the whopper popper, I only have about three or four of them and I'm not trying to lose any of them. Alright guys. Tied on. Bad clothes. First cast. There we go. <laughs> there 
There we go. That's that bass that's been down there swimming. Got him. Sometimes you gotta go with your instincts, guys. You feel that top water bite might work? Go for it. Right in the mouth. Look at this hook. Oh my goodness. Poor Mr. Bass. This thing got you good. All right, guys. Not a bad bass. Off the buzz bait. And you guys can see what I'm saying. The 7.3 is just long enough for me to cast far. And I got, I had control of that hook set when he hit that buzz bait. Ooh, is that a turtle? 